Hi, this is Guy at WeatherTech Roofing, and uh, we're doing a little trivia pursuit here, kind of thing. We kind of are interested if anybody knows what this is. And uh, little trick, though, let you know. It's held like this. You got a little thing there, and yes, smack it. And uh, so, and then this here, you know. Anyway, when I started the company, and uh, for all you young men, time flies because to me it seems like it was yesterday, but uh, it's been 33 years, almost 34. And this is basically how I started this company, Hatchet and a stripper. And Bo here asked me what a stripper is. You can see this was a stripper, but basically it's just a little thing we wear. We put three penny nails in it or six penny nails, shake them out, you know, and basically the, the roofer would grab them like this. And now that's metal, so he'd set the nail you know, in the shape, and then pound it in. I'm not gonna do that and ruin my bench. But, you know, basically, the way he'd grab the nails out, they end up in this pattern where, you know, he could tap the nail and set it in the shake or the wood shingle and continue. Um, actually, I could hand nail wood shakes a lot better than I could uh, lay composition shingles, which is the popular roof today, is fiberglass shingles. Um, but anyway, that's how I started the company. Basically, I had my hatchet apron, and my stripper and uh so like i said you're on the roof and you're you set out your shakes or your shingles and you pull them out and there they are in that pattern where you got the lowest one here and it goes up and you just tap it and, and continue going and nail the shingles uh you know there's probably 180 shingles to a bundle of shakes and and that's what we did all day and the average installation of a really good roofer was about 10 to 12 squares a day so, um, didn't pay a lot back then, but you know, uh, you could do it. Back then I think it paid about $8 a square. Today, uh, they're paying about $25 a square. So prices have changed, you know, and the guys, roofers always gotten paid by what they do. Uh, typically they had their own trucks, got to show up on the job with their tools and go to work. You didn't punch in a clock like they do today. We didn't provide them with trucks then like we do today. Um, so. Everybody's kind of spoiled, you know, California tells us we got to do this and do that. In fact, we have uh, pallets of water because we have to give them water. You know, uh, water hoses are no good anymore. But anyway, uh, it's just the politics of California. Again, that's why it costs us $3 billion to build a mile of road. <laughs> anyway, um, I just thought I'd cover this. And unfortunately, you know what, I've gotten a little bigger than I was back then. And getting this thing on and off isn't quite as easy as it used to be. In fact, this one doesn't fit me. Mine had a strap. This is rope. And getting it off is fun. But there you go. Basically, just a slotted little thing. I had a difficult time finding nails that fit in it because we really don't use these type of nails anymore uh, since wood roofing is no longer something that's done too often other than on a beach area. A lot of people think shake roofs are illegal here in Riverside County, and they're not. If you want a wood shake roof, give me a call. I can put it on your house no matter where you live. Um, there's just codes that we have to meet. And unfortunately, even the building department, a lot of the people behind the counter think that they're illegal. But uh, you can put a wood shake roof on in your house if you want. So, tile and composition aren't on, on therm, are not the only choices. So, uh, if you have any questions about roofing, uh, give me a call here at the office. Uh, our number is 951. 929-0557 or you can find us on weathertightroofinginc.com post a question I'd be more than happy to answer it um, history of roofing I can go on for a long time about the history of roofing but uh, you might find it boring unless you're interested so give us a call sometime okay thank you